And so right now, for the folks, you're touring the country right now. That's America. correct, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're comedians, so you're touring the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's the difference between the UK and America? Um, I, I feel culture is very big. I feel... Um, over here or over there? But I feel like, but I feel there's a, diff a big difference where in the UK, I feel they are more um, receptive, re they're more receive and um, they will take time to understand other people's cultures where I feel in America, most time Americans are more just care about their culture. They have no interest in anyone else's culture. So even at times, if you want to like trying to explain to them about it, it's like, yeah, man, whatever. And you don't, that's what I find anyway. Oh, I see. Because in America, we only have one culture. Mm -hmm. And that's the American culture. I know. Right. And, and, and as a result, having one culture, we were one nation under God. Mm -hmm. But when you bring in all this other mess, these different culture things, yeah. it divides the people. And we no longer are one nation under God. And so now everybody fighting each other, yeah. trying to prove that one culture is better than the next culture, and blah, blah, blah. So do you think it's best to have one culture or many cultures? It's not to say the best to have many, uh, one or, or, or many, it's, it's, but it's best to show respect and, 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 and if you want to, but also if somebody's speaking about their culture, um, as long as it's not anything, if they're speaking about what it is and trying to explain what their culture is about, give them the respect and show them respect, vice versa, they will listen to you, you listen to them, that's how it works. But if you're just gonna be ignorant to their culture, like, oh, I don't care about that. But hey, this is what we, it's, it's a bit rude, like, why do you think yours is better than Theirs to them, that's theirs. You, this is yours. There should be no, like, oh, mine is better than yours. Shouldn't be like that. Are the blacks in the UK attacking and blaming the white people as they are here? The blacks here blame white people, and they think white people are superior to them. They always call them white supremacies. Okay, because yeah. Because the blacks believe mm -hmm. that white people are superior to them. Mm -hmm. White people don't believe that, but the mm -hmm. blacks believe that. And so they're constantly attacking the whites mm -hmm. and calling them racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in the UK, action. yeah, in the UK, they we want get free stuff and all yeah. that. Are the blacks acting the same way over there? In, in the UK, we get similar. There is similarities with that. Um, it's not as much, but in terms of, I, I could only give you scenarios in terms of like with the entertainment industry. They believe that the white. Um, entertainers such as on TV and these are always getting pushed forward for every opportunity while the black ones only get one and two opportunities here and there. So they do um, make nice about that because they want equality where it should be like everybody should have a fair shot at everything. So why don't the blacks do what the white people do, create their own opportunity? They don't need somebody else to give them an opportunity. Mm. That's a weakness. But then create at the same own, time, it's easy create to say create it. But if you look at majority of, um, if you look at majority of things that are created out there in terms of even if we said platforms, m most of these platforms, social media platforms, then none of them are run by a black person. They're all owned by a white person. That's nice, huh? So no, it's not. Oh, it's not nice? No, it's not nice. Why not? Because it should be equal. But the problem is, the problem goes back and stems back with your own people because if you as a black man created an app, a social media app, you probably won't, because just the fact that you are black, you won't um, reach the levels that a person who is white would reach because already you're gonna have the fight from the white people that be like, I ain't supporting that black guy. And then your own people at times will be like, eh, that's whack. <laughs> so you, you, you have a struggle. But there, there's no such thing as reaching the level as someone else. Mm. That's a made up thing too. No, I, I, because, that's a term, yeah, I get it. Because if you don't compare yourself to someone or mm -hmm. try to reach a level as someone else mm -hmm. and just be yourself, yeah. you'll be fine with what you have oh, because yeah, yeah. you no never facts. compare. And so why don't the blacks stop comparing themselves to whites and just be themselves and be happy with being self and what you have and never compare, then they wouldn't try to reach the so-called level as yeah. a white man. Why don't the blacks do it that hey, way? I personally couldn't answer for them, like in general, because of, of who I am, I couldn't answer fully. Have you for... ever wondered that? Why are blacks constantly trying to reach the level of the white man? Why no, I just feel like I just feel like themselves? people in general just all want to be equal. I feel that. But I, no I personally, me as equal. a comedian, an entertainer, 
I don't even care right. of reaching anyone's level because I don't. Right. I'm happy with myself and where I am. I'm enjoying my moments and where I am, and appreciating what's happening for me now. For you, yeah. If if nothing else, if I don't ever, um, if I only do a hundred um, people per show every day of my life. I'm cool with that. That's right. It, I'm not saying, oh, I want right. to reach 200, and when I get 200, I want to reach 300. If it happens, it happens. Yeah. If it doesn't happen, I'm happy with my moment, what, I'm in, what I have right now. I'm, I'm the same way, man. Yeah. If I have a crowd, I'm fine. Yeah. If I have one, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to reach any level. Do you tell the blacks they need to stop doing that? It's not my place for that. Oh. Yeah, that you have to, that, uh, it's not my place for that. <laughs> to tell them the truth? It's not, no, it's not even to tell the truth. It's not my place to speak and step into things like that. I, I, as much as I grew up in a black culture, right. which is the Jamaican culture, which is predominantly black people, I also know my place and know that there's certain things I, I cannot involve myself into. So what would I can only give my views on things. And if I, but and, what would happen if you love them enough to tell them the truth? That's what love is. But, but then I, I don't know if that's the truth. I'm saying you do know. You just said it. I'm, no, no, you're saying you're not saying. to compare yourself. Yeah, to don't anyone. compare yourself. But I get what they're fighting for is equality. But there's no such thing. I'll give you an example. For... Look at um, I, I don't know the names, but look at the basketball situation with the females recently, right? The 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 white basketball player. She did the thing with her face, right? Right. She, right. That no one said. What anything. does that mean? I don't know what it means, but then the black girl did it. All of a sudden, she's this, she's that. They're picking on her. Why can't it be equal where don't say nothing about any of them? Especially since no one knows what it means. But that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but, it, they, but, they, but if it's a black person, they get targeted. They get targeted. And that's facts. So, but um, I want to know, why don't you love the blacks enough to say, hey... Stop trying to get it's to not, where I don't, I, well, like, it's Oh, not, you no, said it's not your place. It's, right. it's not that I don't love. It's, it's just, it's not for me. To, Why not? Because it's, I would want you to tell me the truth. Yeah, I would, you know, if you, well, I'm here trying to tell you the truth, but you're still not listening. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here trying to tell you the truth. <laughs> like, like, yeah, I told you, man, something happened to you. 30 years ago, something happened to you, man. No, What's yeah. her name? Tell me her name. I, I her overcame name. anger 30 years ago. Yeah? Yeah, over, no anger. Was it over a woman? No, it was over me not being at peace. Yeah. I didn't like happening. The happiness came and go. Yeah. I wanted peace. God said that we should have peace. Yeah, yeah. Not happening. The happiness is of the devil. Peace is of God. I wanted peace. Mm. And he said we can have peace on earth, right? Yeah, yeah. Each individual can have it. Have peace up on earth, yeah. So I wanted that while I live and not wait until I die. Yeah. And so I overcame the anger. And mm. when I overcame the anger, peace came. And it's been amazing. Yeah. It's been mind blowing. Yeah. After a lot of things have happened, but it doesn't interfere with my peace at all. Okay. So I want to be happy within. I want to have peace. I'm happy you're peaceful. If you're peaceful, I'm happy for you. And man. you can have it too. I am. I'm good. Let me ask you something. I saw yeah. where you said, um, coming from Jamaica, I believe. I may word it wrong. Okay. I don't remember exactly but, yeah. how you said it. Being Jamaican and sounding black. Mm hmm. It's like being half white and half black, that you imagine that. It, because mixed kids kind of catch it rough, too. They don't fit in anywhere. Oh, mixed race people. Yeah, mixed oh, race. So, so basically what I'm saying is that, uh, um, what, what you're saying is that um, the fact that I'm white, what I sound, how I sound, yeah. I get it. I understand why people of um, mixed, heritage, mixed parents, such as if you was a black and white parent, um, I, I can relate because at times they don't know where they fit in either right. because they have a white side of the family and they have a black side of the family. Yeah. But a lot of the time what happens is that they, they tend to be more accepted by the black side of the family than the white side of the family. And that's why I say I can relate to them because with me it's almost like in, in the UK I am more embraced and, and loved by the black people more than the white people. Oh. So that's why I say I can relate to right. what they go through. It's actually a joke when I put it together. It's a reality, but it's, it, I, I do you say it on stage joke. as well nice. to express how, how it is. And that's me saying that that's why black people are nice people. They are loving people because black they will accept you. People? Of course they are, man. What? Uh, Come the on, UK? man. Yeah. Oh, not here, though. Why not? 
But because you have, they, but you see the thing, you have evil everywhere. Angry. You have evil everywhere. Right. You have white people that are oh, evil. Yeah. You have black people that are evil. Right. You have Asian people that are evil. That's what I told you, it's not evil. racism. Yeah, but there's evil, evil everywhere. Yeah, yeah, there is evil everywhere. And there's bad people everywhere. There's rich people everywhere. There's poor people everywhere. In every race, there is a segment of, of that. So it's yeah, not right. directly black people That's are not what nice. I tell you, it's yeah. not about racism. No such thing as racism. Do black people like you? No. Okay. Some do, but most don't. Why not? Because they think I'm trying to be white. Are you? They call me Uncle Tom and all that. They call you Uncle Tom? Because I won't be into the black thing. Mm. I just want people to be of right. I want yeah. people to treat each other with love the way I was raised, right? Yeah. And the blacks, not all, not all, but most don't like that. They want to hate. They mm. want to blame. They want to mm. have, they want to be victims. And we shouldn't be victims in life. Okay. We should be free. Mm.